Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of rotation, where the center of rotation is not at the origin 0, 0. For this example, let's consider a line segment AB, where the coordinate points are at 5, 5 and at 7, 7. And what we want to do, we want to rotate that line segment by 180 degrees, where the point of rotation is at 2, 3. Because we have coordinate points, let's turn on our coordinate plane. Now let's place this information in the coordinate plane. So let's visualize what we want to do. This line segment AB, we need to go around P, but we don't want to do a full circle. We're just going to want to go around 180 degrees, so somewhere around here. But let's not forget that we have a rule whenever we want to rotate 180 degrees. Given any coordinate point x, y after a rotation of 180 degrees, then we're going to obtain the coordinate point negative x, negative y. But this rule only works when the center of rotation is at the origin 0, 0. Which notice that is not the case right now. The center of rotation right now is at 2, 3. So, one way that we can make this formula work is to redefine our coordinate plane. So let's draw some new axes and let's make the center of those axes to be at the center of rotation at 2, 3. So notice that when we create our new axis, we are making our center of rotation to be at the origin. But when we introduce this new axis, our points of A and B, they have a different location in terms of this new axis. Within our new axis, notice that now A has a coordinate point at 3, 2. And in our new axis, notice that B now has the coordinate point 5, 4. So now we can apply the rule that we have discussed before, because the center of rotation, it's on our new origin. So let's compute that. So a rotation of 180 degrees on our new point A at 3, 2. According to our rule, we just need to change the sign of x and the sign of y. So now it becomes negative 3, comma, negative 2. So let's place that down at negative 3, comma, negative 2. So now let's compute for point B. Point B, after a rotation of 180 degrees on our new axis, now we got the coordinate point negative 5, comma, negative 4 because that's the rule that we have here for 180 degrees. So let's place that down in our new axis. Let's connect our points. But the results that we got here are in terms of our new axis. Now what we need to do is translate this location in terms of the original axis that we were given. So for that, let me erase the new axis and let me pull back the original axis. So now in terms of our new axis, notice that the coordinate point of A prime was at the location of negative 1, comma 1. And in terms of the original axis, now notice that B prime was at the location of negative 3, comma, negative 1. So we are done. Now we have our location after the line segment AB was rotated around the point 2, comma 3. Let's take a look at another example. So let's understand the given. We are given a triangle with coordinate points at 2, 2, 3, 5, and 6, 4. And now what we want to do, we want to rotate that triangle 270 degrees around the point negative 3, comma, negative 2. Let's put down our information on the plane. Now let's define our triangle. Let's understand what we want to do. We want to get this triangle and we want to rotate it around P. And we want to do that by 270 degrees. Well, let's not forget that before we have established a rule for a rotation of 270 degrees. This rule is only applicable when the center of rotation is at zero, zero. But we do not have that case here. Notice that the center of rotation is a negative three comma, negative 2. 
So let's introduce a new axis and let's make P be the origin of that new axis. And if this is a new axis, then our original points also change location. Notice that now A, the X value, it's at five and the Y value, it's at four. So our new coordinate point, it's five comma four. In terms of B, notice that the X value, it's at six and the Y value, it's at seven. So our new coordinate point is six comma seven. And for C, notice, that the x value it's at 9 and the y value it's at 6 so we can define c as 9 comma 6 because we have our central rotation at the origin now we can apply our rule for a rotation of 270 degrees but we will do it in terms of the new location given the new purple axis so let's write down our rotations So for A, our location is at 5 comma 4. According to our rule, given x and y coordinate point, the image, it's at y comma negative x. So we switch our locations, and then we change the sign of the second value. So therefore, our image, it's going to be at 4 comma negative 5. And now for B, the location is at 6 comma 7. Therefore, the image is going to be at 7, negative 6. How are we doing? We're applying the rule. Now that our central rotation is at 0, 0. And now for C, the location is at 9, 6. And after applying our rule of rotation, our new coordinate point is at 6, negative 9. Let's write down our results underneath the rules because we're going to need this space. So let's start placing those coordinate points. Let's start placing a prime at four comma negative five. And now let's place b prime at seven comma negative six. So now let's place the location of c prime at six comma negative nine. So now let's connect those points. So we have our final location. All we need to do is write it down using the original plane that we were given. So let's erase the purple plane and let's go back to the original plane. So now let's write down our final results. In terms of our original axis, notice that A prime, it's at the location of one comma negative seven. In terms of our original axis, B prime is at the location of four comma negative eight. And in terms of the original plane, C prime is at the location of three comma negative 11. So therefore we have found the location of triangle ABC after it was rotated by 270 degrees around point P at the location of negative three comma negative two. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.